Hello everybody. Um, I just filmed the CD unboxing for my album Ashes and now we're doing the CD unboxing for my album Mori Astra. This is going to be a surprise album that I'm just going to drop March 8th. Um, so I honestly have no idea when this is going to come out. Today it's like November 7th of 2023. So we'll just see. This will probably come out in March, this video. Um, but this is an, an album that I'm really proud of. It's a lot different than my other albums, as in this one's a lot more fictitious, and it follows the story of this girl that's a pop star in the year 2041, and then she gets kind of fucked over by the world, and then there's like three different storylines, and we'll go through these as we do this unboxing. But I love the CD spines. It looks very, like, galactical and, like, gorgeous. I love it. And then we have the track listing. <laughs> And then we have the other side, which also looks pretty. Um, I feel like I've really improved with my album designs that I've done. So then we have the little other picture, which this was an alternate cover for Mori Astra. And I like to usually include things with my CDs where it's like you can pick the cover, you can switch it for whatever you're feeling. Um, and then here's the disc. It looks really cool. I like it. Um... But basically, we're going to go through the track list, and I'm going to explain the meaning of each thing. So, the first four tracks are Sea Full of Stars, Plastic Prototype, Omeo, and Uncanny Valley. That is the first part of the album, and that revolves around Mori Astra and her being a celebrity and a pop star. And as these four tracks progress, she meets this guy named Omeo that basically saves her life and, like, helps her. Um... However, Omeo dies, and this pushes Mori over the edge, and then in tracks 5 through 8, which is the new humanity, synthetic skin, more than a machine, and heavy weighs the crown, Mori builds a robot, or like an android copy of Omeo, and he begins to destroy the world that, in a way, destroyed Mori's humanity. Um, and because of this the world essentially ends. Um, and then in tracks 9 through 12, we have Daughter of Destruction, Wisteria, The Garden, and then The End. Um, and in this one, technically this is from the perspective of their daughter, Moira Astra, even though Moira is not even a real person. It's so much as it's like a metaphor for the end of the world. Um, so I love this album it's very like dystopian and like futuristic and I just I really love the storyline with this one um I will be linking in the description where you can purchase this for yourself and it'll look really pretty on your shelf if you do buy it um but thank you guys so much for watching Mwah.